If you're a fan of music and, let's face it, if you watch the Riverside Show, then you probably are, then you're in for a treat tonight with the first episode of our brand new music show at 8.30. Grassroots Music is Scotland's only weekly music show and I'll bring you the best of Scottish music from new and upcoming bands to some of the biggest names mm, in the business. And here's a taster of tonight's episode. So Justin, what did you think of them? Uh, I thought it was excellent. Uh, I, I think I've vaguely heard about them, which is unusual for me because I know nothing. Uh, yeah, they look like they're, they've got something, you know, it's, um, it's not... It's not cutting edge and vastly original, but it's 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 brilliant. And uh, yeah, I would go and see them. Another must-watch show tonight Definitely. here on STV Glasgow. And we're delighted to say that we're joined now by Delamitri frontman and solo artist in his own right, Justin Curry, who also just happens to be the star guest of tonight's episode of Grassroots Music. Justin, thanks for coming in. I was the star guest. The star guest? <laughs> you're the star turn. Nobody told me that. No pleasure. <laughs> I got a free coffee. Well, there you go, that's it. And you may get a biscuit, OK? That may be the... <laughs> I've not had a biscuit yet. <laughs> right, okay. yet. Um, Justin, very quickly, what did you prefer? Um, did you prefer being a solo artist or, or, or the Delamitri? I prefer band? being in a band. Right. Um, but it, I, I, the offers just... The phone stopped ringing and the offers stopped coming in and um, there was nothing else to do but make, make solo records. But I'd much rather be in a, a group. I'm a band guy, I'm not a, not a troubadour. Is it, is it the support of, of being in a band? Is it the it's just that kind it? of group identity thing. And bands make better records than... They make mm. better music than solo artists. Um, I mean, even though there's a lot of kind of tension and there's always arguments and it can be difficult, mm -hmm. it's just you're going to make better music with, with, with more input, basically. Mm, OK. And obviously you guys started out in the 80s, but how yeah. important is it for you now and for, you know, pla giving platforms to kind of up-and-coming musicians? Uh, well, I mean, I can't really give platforms to no. <laughs> music. But, but you can offer your advice. <laughs> well, my advice is generally appalling because I don't really know anything about the music industry. Um, and, I mean, I know something about the music industry of circa 1982. <laughs> uh, but I've got genuinely no idea how young artists manage to get off the ground. They seem to have to spend most of their time looking at a computer, which I would, I would have found insufferable. Would you have hated that? Well, I mean, and back in my day, <laughs> uh, it was about going around and putting you know, wallpapering posters to lampposts and getting chased by the police and uh, and just hustling. I mean, people still hustle. Yeah. Mm. But you're not, you're not, we didn't have any of that kind of online trying to reach your audience and sell yourself to the audience. You would, you kind of had to sell yourself to the guys that ran the venues mm. first and then hope that people would come along. So it's, uh, it's very different. It's alien to me. I suppose, though, you know, the, we live in the, the online world mm -hmm. now, social media, putting videos up online, but is gigging still as important and getting yourself out there on the circuit? Yeah, it must be. Um, I mean, everybody... I'm, look, I, don't know, I don't know many people under the age of 50, but the people I do know <laughs> and the under the age of 50 go to a lot of gigs. Uh, a, lot, a hell of a lot more gigs than I go yeah. to, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's still a big thing. And tonight we're going to see some local bands on TV for the first time. I got, lucky, I got Well, I got lucky because when, when I did the interview for... I didn't know that I was watching, <laughs> having a look at these bands, and they were all really good, which is... We're obviously briefed you. Oh, they, they, they were all great, they were all great. What did you great. think you were doing? But I, you know, I was kind of horrified when I, I, was, I was showing these clips, because I thought, what if I really hate them? <laughs> <laughs> what will I say? Shatter the dreams. Well, the famous thing is, what you do is you just say it's a nice hi-hat sound, but they were, I thought, oh. in their own way, they were all, they were all really excellent artists. I, I like that, so a nice hi-hat sound is a... As a deflection. And that's when you yeah. just don't know what to say. <laughs> but I really like the second song. <laughs> that um, usually works. And what's coming up next for you? Uh, I'm doing a very odd thing um, in, the, in about a week's time at the Irvine Maritime Museum, Ooh, which I just said yes to because I quite fancied playing um, with a bunch of ships sitting around. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't really know why. It's something, it's something called the Fusion Festival, which I don't know anything about, mm. but I'm quite looking forward to that. I'm going to do lots of songs about the sea. 
Right, OK. And play with the ships as well at the same time. Well, the ships will be behind me, so I think it'll look quite good. Um, nice stage set. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, good. Uh, sorry, I was just going to say, is that the weirdest venue you've ever played? It can't be, no. I mean, we've played car parks and <laughs> pizza, pizza restaurants and things. So, I mean, and we've played, like, f like shopping centre foyers and things, oh which God. are really awful. So this, but this will be, oh, this will be quite interesting, I think. It's, yeah. it's a random venue, but it's not, it's not the most random. And you've mm. been working with uh, Young Aviators, I believe, a band we've had on this show. You've been doing yeah, something with really them. Good. I haven't really worked with them. I did, I, get, I did, I, I play football occasionally with uh, Declan, and um, I, I sang one of their songs on the, the, the a gig they did or more recently. Mm -hmm. But I've not actually been working with them, have I? I wouldn't call that working with them. I just turned up and made a mess of one of their songs <laughs> and been beating them at football. Uh, oh God, no! Dick is well better than Got me. And if, and, and, uh, saying that Declan's better at football than me is a bit of an insult because I'm so awful. Oh, no. But uh, <laughs> he's very, he's very good. He's very quick. Listen, Great. Justin, thank you for joining us tonight. Look pleasure. forward to yeah. Grassroots Music Look tonight to at eight thirty. And remember, if you are in a band and you want to be a part of Grassroots Music, then you can get in touch with us. All you've got to do is email the team at grassrootsmusic at stv.tv and email us on your screen right now. It is indeed. Now we're going to take a short break now, but stay with us because when we come back. We'll be continuing the music theme with a performance from possibly the youngest bands we've ever had on the show, but they're great. <laughs> Little White Truth will be live after the break.